happy people. We are back today with another substitution for alkalinity. tea. So today I need to make some Cajun seasoning because I plan on doing a recipe uh, a couple of days from now where I need to make like a Cajun Alfredo. So I need to make the Cajun seasoning first. So it has to be alkaline and the ones that's in the stores we already know are not alkaline so we have to build everything from the ground up. We already know this as alkaline people but now you'll have your alkaline Cajun seasoning substitute so whatever recipe you're doing especially if you live like deep in the south and uh, Louisiana or something like that or you're just feeling uh, Cajun you will have your Cajun seasoning without having to mix all these things together every time because that's kind of a, a hassle right if you have to pull all of these uh, ingredients out at one time whereas versus Everybody else is goes to the store and pick up a bottle of Cajun seasoning. So we're just going to make our whole Cajun seasoning here, enough of it, so you can just keep it in your pantry and pull it out whenever you need it. So let's just get started here. We're going to start off with our tablespoon, and the first thing we're going to use here is some um, onion powder. And we're going to go with one tablespoon of onion powder. If you want to do a larger amount, just double, triple, quadruple this recipe, whatever you need. I'm just going to do this amount just for this video. Well, I might do double the amount. Okay, so let's do double the amount. Okay, so two tablespoons of onion powder. And two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. If you don't like it to be that uh, spicy. Which is usually not me, but for the uh, Cajun seasoning because you can just measure out how much you need. Then I am going to use uh, cayenne because you know I'll be like just a little pinch, baby. <laughs> pinch. But because I can measure out how much Cajun seasoning I need, I don't need to worry about how much of cayenne is going in here right now. Now unless you just really don't like spice at all or mess with your stomach or whatever. And then you can just put a little bit or change it to something, another spice. Alright, so two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. And we have our mark, mark, our uh, mock garlic. <laughs> and we're going to do two tablespoons of it too. And we've got our sea salt here. Two tablespoons of that too. I probably should have got a larger uh, container since I decided to do double. And we've got some dried thyme, thyme, whichever you want to call it. And I'm just going to put this in my hand first and just kind of crush it up a little bit. Because I buy mine sometimes in the uh, big bulk, so it's in the um, little what am I trying to say <laughs> it's in the little buds but this one I think well I actually already grinded this one up so I don't have to do that I think it's going to be for the oregano that I didn't all right so two tablespoons of that try not to waste a third of it on the table the oregano okay so I did not already crush this up so I do have to do this in my hand here a little bit if you have a mortar and pestle I do have one but I'm just not gonna pull it out for this then you could just easily put all this in a mortar and pestle or you could put it in your blender. Alright, one tablespoon. And two tablespoons of that. Here's where your different measurements come in. Usually you would have black pepper, but as we know, we don't use black pepper, so I have my alkaline black pepper, and then I have some dried papaya seeds. And we're just going to do a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of the alkaline black pepper, and half a teaspoon of the uh, dried papaya seeds. Again, trying to shake it out, huh? Okay, now, so usually also it has paprika, but we don't use paprika, so paprika. 
<clears throat> so I have a substitution here that I usually try to uh, use for paprika. I have a natto powder, some red bell pepper powder. If you don't have red bell pepper powder, don't worry about it. It's uh, mainly for some color, but a little bit of flavor. But because I keep all the ends and stuff in my bell peppers and I just dehydrate them and blend them up, I always have some red bell pepper powder and I got some, uh, this is Roma tomato and cherry tomato powder. Basically, whatever parts of the uh, tomato I don't use or if it's starting to go bad real fast, I just throw it on a dehydrator and blend it up. So I, I mean, and uh, blitz it up so I don't uh, lose anything because vegetables are hot and man bell peppers are hot like the red ones two dollars a piece like I don't want to lose anything I try to keep the seeds and everything like that was a lot so and now though we're going to do oh I think I got the wrong one yeah and now though, we're going to do one teaspoon Red bell pepper is one teaspoon. And the tomato powder is one teaspoon. And then I just mix this all up together here. this recipe so I'm tripping all right so back to this I need to put another half of a teaspoon of annatto because I'm doubling this and not single red bell pepper and a tomato jar you can easily just shake it up I just didn't even think to grab one I just grabbed this little jar make sure you get it all mixed up together here like I said you can put this in a mortar a mortar and pestle so you could definitely mix it up a lot better. You can put it in your blender and just blitz it up. Your food processor. Right, and there you have it. Now we have alkaline Cajun seasoning. At this point you can taste it. Uh, I would get like a small piece of zucchini or some vegetable that's not uh, so flavorful and just uh, sprinkle a little bit on there and see how you like it and then after that you can adjust your season if you want it to be a little more hot then you can add some African bird pepper if you have some dehydrated uh, scotch bonnets or you want to use uh, more cayenne you can definitely make it more hot if you like a lot of onion or you like uh, more of the uh, black pepper taste then you can definitely add more or less of those things whatever you happen to like it's what your soul say yes to say yes to so say yes to. So this is my apple line uh, Cajun seasoning. I hope this helps you guys. You can put it in your pantry, use it for whatever you need it for. If you're making crab boils or any kind of Cajun uh, product or um, Creole or things like that, you can definitely substitute this now for those seasonings. And like I say, I am going to be using this later uh, in the next couple of days for. Um, I'm going to be making a chicken Cajun. <laughs> Cajun chicken alfredo so I need to have this on hand and I only had about a teaspoon left and I'm going to need more than that for the recipe so if you actually want to see that recipe make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell give me the likes on this if you uh, like the fact that now you have an alkaline substitute for the Cajun seasoning and stay tuned for the next video and until next time stay happy
Uh-huh.